Right, in this video we are going to um, take the work that we have done uh, in the previous two videos, i.e. planning um, our adventure game and uh, creating a template for our pages. We're going to start pulling it together so that we've got something we can actually play through. So if you have a look here, oh, let me just make that um, picture a little bit bigger. This is my plan. So you can see um, I've got my start, you're walking along a road, um, you come to a fork, do you want to go left or right? Okay, you should have a plan which looks something similar to this. Um, my descriptions are not amazing, um, hopefully yours are a little bit, little bit better than mine. But I'm just showing you this so you can see what it is um, that, that you need to do. You should also have a um, template.html and you should have a, um, a style sheet as well uh, main.css okay so as long as you've got all of those three things you're ready to make a start um, on pulling your game together so this is the this is the way that we're going to do it I'll show you um, how to link in a couple of different pages and then you can just go ahead and follow that same process uh, for everything. So um, let me just bring up my plan again. Uh, I'm going to make it uh, a little bit smaller so that it fits on one side of the screen here. Okay, so my first room is called Start. Not the most imaginative thing. Um, yours hopefully will have a slightly better, better name than that, but um, we are walking along a road um, I need to get that into my template, but we've got to be careful here because we don't want to overwrite the template. So first thing I'm going to do, I open my template. You can see I've got my, my template here. The first thing I'm going to go, do is go to File and then Save As or press Control shift s uh, and I am going to save that as index.html. Okay, you can see it's now changed. I've still got my template here, but now I've basically made a copy of that file and it's called index.html. This is going to be the first page um, that we see. So now what I need to do is I need to start putting um, or changing the bits of my template to fit in with my, um, with my plan. So I'm I'm going to change the name. It's not going to be called My Cool, cool Game. I'm just going to call it Adventure. Um, and Current Room, I'm changing that. I've called mine Start, so I'm going to call that Start. Now, you'll notice um, up here um, in the... Um, uh, in the live preview, it's changed the, um, the title in the, uh, in the title bar there. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to change the title here. The heading, name of room, that is going to change to start. Um, and then I've got this image. Okay, so in my template I just put battle.jpg. If you have a look over the left hand side here, I've actually downloaded and saved three different images. I'm going to use these three different images for the first three locations. You should find or create um, an image which is going to be um, the view that your player would see if they were in uh, this situation. So let's have a look at my first image here. You can see that fits in with the start. You are walking along a road and you come to a fork. So you can see I've got a path that takes me to the left, a path that takes me to the right there. Um, and then my second image here, um, if you have a look at my description, you turn left and see the, f uh, the forest ahead of you. It looks dark. Do you want to uh, go in or turn back? And you can see I've got a dark forest path as my second image. And then my third description says you turn right and see the endless road stretching out before you. And sure enough, there is my image of the endless road. OK, now let's have a look carefully and see what I have called these images. The first one I have called zero because that's the number on my plan here. Location 1 is the left path. So if I click on 1.jpg, you can see here that's the image that corresponds to that location. Okay. Now you don't have to number your um, 
images like that you can call them whatever you want but I just find it makes it a little bit easier to uh, get them into your web page and understand which one is which uh, if you have those um, if you have the numbers corresponding to whichever page we're on okay so the first one that we had uh, is zero that's the that's the starting image that's the one that we are going to get into our um, uh, into our first page so we're going to change uh, the source there that's just going to be one no not one it's going to be zero dot jpeg and if I just get rid of my plan there you can see it's instantly changed uh, the uh, the image there uh, now my description my description says you are walking along a road you come to a fork do you go left or right so where it says description of the room here I'm going to change that to uh, you are walking along uh, the road um, you come to a fork do you want to go left or right okay uh, now there's multiple ways that you can do this you could either make those left or right into hyperlinks or um, make it a little bit easier you can have your hyperlink options down here now let's just I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here so we can see the plan. If you can see here, if we go to the left, it takes us to location one. If we go to the right, it takes us to location two. There is no third option, so I can get rid of option three here. So the first option is going to the left, right? So we need to create a link to go in here. So we can use A. Is the tag we can say a href equals and we're just going to point it to one dot html even though we haven't actually created that page yet doesn't matter we are going to shortly and that is where our um our link is going to take us so we need a description that's going to appear for that link um so do you want to go left or right uh, i could just put left let's just put left in there and then we need to do the same thing here uh for option 2 um i'm going to cheat a little bit and copy and paste but remember if we turn to the right it takes us to location 2 so we're going to put 2.html in there and then we're going to say right there so let's just have a look at our preview you can now see we've got uh, a picture you are walking along the road you come to a fork do you want to go left or right and then we've got the choice of either going left or right now at the moment if I click on left it won't it won't take us anywhere um, if I uh, if I click on uh, right it also uh, won't take us anywhere um, because we haven't created uh, those pages yet okay so we're off to a good start. What's the next thing that we need to do? Well, we need to create those pages that we just uh, decided to link. So first thing I'm going to do, make sure that index.html is saved. So either go to File and select Save or just press Control S. You'll know when it's saved because the little dot next to the um, to the index.html will disappear okay now the next thing that I'm going to do and this is very important we've got to open template.html again okay so I open template.html okay and then we're back to our original template and we just go through that process again we need to save this as whatever the location is going to be so I'm going to create left path here you can see that's location one so I'm now going to save my template as one.html so I go to file and I go to save as and I call it um, one.html okay so now I have main.css I have index.html I'm now going to open one.html and there it is okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to alter the description what did I call it? I call it adventure and the current room is left path which is not the greatest name dark forest path might be better but this is what I've got in my plan and once again we're changing the name of the room to left path okay and the description that I've got in here is uh, 
you turn uh, left and see the forest ahead of you. Ahead of you. I can't spell, it seems. Uh, it looks dark. Um, do you go in or turn back? OK, there's my description. Also, I need to change the image. If I change it to 1.jpg, it should show me the right picture here. So I'm just going to put 1.jpg. And if I just get rid of my plan there, you can see it's instantly changed there as well. So now all we need to do is get those um, links in. Um, and I can see from my plan, if I just bring up the plan, um, I've got two options, go in or turn back. So my first option is go in, and if I go in, it links to uh, page three. So just like before, I'm going to say a href equals, um, this is going to be three dot html, and the link is going to say go in. Okay, and then the second option is going to be turn back, and that is going to go to 4.html. Okay, so make sure I change that to 4.html and change that to turn back. Okay, and then I can get rid of option three. And just having a quick look here, we can see there's our there's our page for the left path. Okay, so you see how this process goes. It's actually fairly straightforward. Having that template and having your plan, it means you can easily create all of these multiple pages and get them linked in together. Now in my plan, obviously I've got um, two, two options coming out of uh, each location. Yours might have um, more than that, it might have less than that. Um, all you need to do is make sure that you have one link for every option that's coming out of these plans. So I'll do it one more time for the right path and then I can show you how um, you can play the game, so to speak. Um, so again, you can see there's that little dot next to one.html, so we need to make sure that we save that. So go to File and go to Save, and then the dot has gone away, so that's nice and saved now. Okay, next up we're going to open the template and then go to File, go to Save As, and we are going to call this 2.html. Okay, so now we have a 2.html and we're ready to start uh, editing that. So we've got uh, Adventure, is the name of my game, and the room that we're currently in is Right Path. So I'm going to change that to right path. Um, H1 needs to change also to right path. Tell us where we are. We need to change the image to 2.jpg. Um, I should also really change these descriptions. Uh, I should put endless dirt road, for instance, which is a description of the picture. Um, the description of the room is you turn right and see the endless road stretching out ahead of you. Some spelling mistakes here, I'll correct in a minute. Um, do you want to carry on or turn back? Turn right and see the end of the road stretching out. Uh, that's not how you spell ahead. Ahead of you. Do you want to carry on or turn back? Question mark. Okay, so uh, there's our description, and the two options that we have are turn back or carry on. So um, we just put those a tags in there. A href, and let's have a look. Where is um, where is turn back taking us? Well, if we turn back from uh, location two, we end up on uh, location four. Okay, so we're going to put four dot html, um, and that should be labeled turn back. Um, and the second option is carry on, which takes us to location five. 
So let's copy that. Okay, and that's taken us to location five. And let's put the text in there, carry on. And there is no option three in this example. Let's get rid of my plan. You can see there we go. And finally, once again, we're going to go file. We're going to go uh, save to make sure that we have saved that. Okay, now if you want to try out your uh, your amazing game, um, all you have to do is uh, open up your index. That should be your start point. Okay, so you can go through. You can see is the right image in there. Um, right, do we want to go left or right? Well, if I go left, that's going to take us further into the forest according to the plan. So I click left, and sure enough, there we go. We're deeper into the forest now. Okay. Um, now, obviously, we've got the option to go in or turn back. I haven't yet created those pages, um, so if I click them, they're going to go nowhere. But that doesn't um, that doesn't matter at this point. Obviously, we're just testing the stuff out. Let's just go back, and uh, if I decide to take the right path, it should take me to the endless road. And you can see there, you turn right and see the endless road stretching out ahead of you. Do you want to carry on or turn back? And once again, we've got these two choices. At the moment, the pages don't exist, but if I spent a little bit more time, I could create those extra pages. Okay, so your mission is to go through your plan, make sure that you've got uh, all the images that you need. Um, the great thing about this is the fact that we created that template and we already created the style sheet means that um, we don't have to mess around with much HTML here. It's just a case of making sure that we uh, go file and save as, make sure that we save that template um, either as 1.html or 2.html or 3.html or 56.html, whatever the location is, you've got to make sure you save that template in a separate file and then all you have to do is write your description in there, update the image and there we go. Things should come together pretty quickly. Okay.